Hey guys, what's going on? It's Castle Perfect here today, bringing you a live commentated ranked matches. Uh, because today I couldn't find a proper opponent, like everybody was busy, uh, sort of. I don't know what was going on, but I didn't really get a response on Twitter. And uh, that's really unfortunate. Another thing that I would like to talk to you about today, before I get started, is that I am super sick. My throat hurts like hell. So doing this is like going completely against uh, against myself because normally I would just take it easy, don't do much. Uh, I had a tremendous headache this morning. I woke up at 7 a.m. because I had to go to school. Then I tried to stand up and I just fell back down on bed because my headache was so insane. My throat was hurting, I couldn't breathe, and everything was just completely bad. But just because I promised you guys to do this today, I will definitely do it, even though it's gonna be at, at the cost of my throat. <coughs> so I hope you guys don't mind too much the uh, coughing all the time. Um, as, <coughs> as you can see today, I'm gonna be using a little bit of a different team. Uh, this is because um, these guys are all completely offensive. Um, and it has to do with the fact that on ranked matches, all you need are offensive Pokemons. You don't need to set up with stuff because it's always a three on three. So it's quite unnecessary to bring Pokemons that are, you know, set up Pokemon. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so there are at least two Pokemon with the same move or the same held item. So apparently I cannot do that. I have to back down a little bit real quick. If you guys don't mind, I have to change the item. Um, let's see which one is what. Okay, so I've got two life orbs. All right, so life orb. Okay, I'm gonna change life orb to um, something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to change, but um, whatever the case, I need to change this. Um, something else for my hunch grow. That's also a new team member though, which I bred, but this one is different because I got it from um, Destructive Skitty because hers has Moxie and mine has Super Luck. So, yeah. She lowered my self-esteem of using my own uh, Hunch Grow, so that's why I'm using hers right now. She cloned it for me, so shout out to her. Alright, so what is it going to be? I can't really decide. So, Safety Goggles, okay, whatever. I'm just going to use Safety Goggles on this guy. So I cannot be uh, put to sleep with Spore or um, get any damage from the Sandstorm or anything like that. And apparently, okay, so I just got a challenge from Sucker for Jessica. We were supposed to battle and yep, I, I it, it took like an hour and he said like 10 minutes. So that's why I have decided to like uh, do ranked matches. But now that I got the uh, challenge in, I might as well just go ahead and... Uh, Take his challenge. It's kind of a funny way to start off this video, isn't it? Uh, okay, wait a second. Where is my dusk, dusk clubs? I put it somewhere down here, didn't I? All right, there it is. I'm gonna put down the. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I am completely ready to go. Hopefully, this goes the way that it's supposed to be going. All right, so Kashif challenged me. Apparently, he's in a battle right now, or maybe that's just the transition taking a long time. I am not sure, but we're already three minutes into this, and uh, that's not something you would like to hear about. <laughs> Watch for three minutes, absolutely nothing. Hearing me talking about nonsense that you guys probably don't care about. But anyways, um, yeah, Kashif, come on, man. Come on, bro. Let's go. Alright, so battle. Confirm. Play with Kashif, yes. Use game chat, no. Save the game, yes. All right, let's go. Hopefully this turns out to be a great match. Uh, it's kind of ironic how I really started this video to do ranked matches, but yeah, I guess that everything turned around and uh, Sucker for Jessica was ready to battle me. So, well, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Once again, this is live commentated Wi-Fi battle instead of a ranked match. I uh, just quickly ch changed my Darmanitan to those clubs because, of course, I need defensive core. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna click battle start. I'm gonna click uh, Barky Pokemon. And obviously, like always, I need to take a picture of his team. He's got a heat friend. That's the first thing that I get to see. Or that was like noticeable. He's got a Warren though, which is pretty amazing. I'm gonna take that picture real quick. All right, so it's blurry again. Come on, focus, come on, hocus pocus. 
there it goes. I got. <coughs> I'm so. <s> <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> I'm so sorry for you guys who use uh, headsets while listening to me, so. I'm sorry. Okay. So it's gonna lead off with. I don't know what. I am absolutely going to lead off with. I think. I'm going to I'm going to lead off with TM87. Um, he has goggle the uh, what was it again? Safety goggles. I cannot be put to sleep because I think that he is going to be leading off with jump off. Um, jump off usually loves to uh, set up with uh, uh, sleep powder or lead seed or something like that. But whatever, whatever the case, let's go ahead and get started. Once again, I apologize for my voice. It's really bad. Uh, I'm coughing all over the place. I feel really sick. I can hardly breathe, by the way, <clears throat> and I'm still talking. So hope you guys appreciate this because I don't know what to do other than this because I promise you guys, and uh, that's that's what it is. All right, so he's going to lead off with this thing. Uh, it is a pretty defensive Pokemon, nonetheless. I'm not really com familiar with uh, that Pokemon, Cavalier, so might as well just go ahead and uh, use Cerebi.net. Um, yeah, gotta. Gotta get some info on that guy. All I know it's still bug. Alright, so where are you, bro? No, that's a B sharp. Okay, so this cavalier found you. So what do you do? Overcoat. I see the ability show armor and swarm. Um alright, so I guess he's running overcoat. Would make sense. That's a pretty nice defense, special defense. It doesn't have the highest HP. Um, well, whatever the case, I'm just going to go ahead and set up a sub, see what it goes for. All right, so it's going to switch. That's perfect. I don't mind that. I'm going to set up the sub. <clears throat> He's going to bring out this thing, though, which is going to be a C-Trend. And obviously, I'm not running super pow power on this uh, Honchkrow, meaning that I can only go for the Brave Bird. Which is quite shameful, but um, yeah, until he breaks my sub, I will stay in and you know do as much damage as I possibly can. And hopefully, this does a little bit. All right, so that's whoa, that does quite a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage, that's perfect. So he's gonna go for the flash cannon. All right, fair enough. He didn't want for the fire attack, I guess, because he was predicting the switch. Um. All right, so I'm absolutely going to need Hunchcrow for later. So I'm going to be switching out now. Um, I don't want to switch on a Flash Cannon. I don't want to switch on Ice Age to Ice Age. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna go out into Burnout, which is going to be my Charizard. And in case it goes for the Stealth Rocks, I'll be safe for the moment at least. All right, so it's gonna switch out. Not sure what he's gonna go out into. Maybe Raichu predicting the yeah perfect switch. Yeah, that, that's well done, dude. Well done. Not bad at all. So I'm gonna get rid of the uh, <coughs> flying taps. I'm gonna make a evolve into Charizard X, and uh, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. Maybe no. He has a uh, slump bluff or something. I guess I'll just go for the Dragon Claw. I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Claw here. <clears throat> do as much damage as I possibly can. I just hope this is not like that type of Raichu that goes for Dig with Power Herb and then attacks on the same turn. Alright, so I'm faster. Dragon Claw. That's gonna do enough to the point where... Oh my god, I'm paralyzed. Alright. Okay, that, that, that blows. Alright, so it's gonna go for the Sweet Kiss. That's gonna put me to sleep, I believe. Or Confused, whatever. So, we've got the Power Fusion going on right now. <clears throat> which is not really... That awesome. I'm gonna go for a earthquake now in case he decides to go out into his heat rain. I'm just going to stay in though. I don't care about this. He's gonna go for the focus blast. Interesting. That's not gonna do that much damage, but the poison might. Oh, I mean the uh, confusion might. Yeah, I thought so. That always happens to me. I mean, when I, whenever I'm confused, it's just freaking useless. I never break through the confusion. That's like a given. Um. All right. Sweet kiss for confusion, focus blast. Um, yeah, he's he's got a very good coverage. T 
to deal with my Amamo Swine. So I'm going to switch out into Fantastico, which is going to be my Dust Clubs, basically because I am predicting the Focus Blast one more time. But he might just switch up moves, but I don't really care. I mean, I'm bulky, I can take it. So it's got leftovers. Good to know. So it goes for the Focus Blast. I avoid the damage, which is great. And my throat is still hurting. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter, because I'm a man, and I can take that. Uh, I'll regret that later on. <laughs> Alright. Fine. What is it going to do now? Mm. I'm just going to go for the Nightshade at this point. It doesn't matter what he switches out into. He's going to swap out into Warrain. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Nightshade, 40 win. That's going to do 50 damage. Not going to do that. Oh my god. That's a defensive wall. And it's funny because today I believe I watched one of these videos and I saw this wall rain. It had like Frost Breath. Um, it had Encore, I guess Substitute or Protect. I don't know, Toxic? I don't remember. Something like that. Uh, so, I am going to... I'm not going to stay in on the Encore. So I'm going to switch back into Burnout, which is going to be my Mega Evolution. Um, I don't think that Charizard is that useful anymore. So that's why I'm going to go out into him. But it goes for the Toxic, though. Just like I told you guys. I'm paralyzed, so I cannot get status anymore. Which is perfect. Alright, I'm just going to go for a... Whoa, wait. I don't know what ability Warring has. I think he has access to Thick Fat. Alright, so I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw. Just avoiding the ability. He's going to get a crit, though. <clears throat> that thing always crits. Alright, and I get paralyzed. Wow. On top of the fact that I'm sick as fuck, I get hacked to death. Well, this pretty much sucks, bro. That, that, that's just the game. That's the game just pissing me off, I guess. I don't, I can't really get pissed off in a way. I'm way too sick for that. So, it's gonna knock down my burnout with another crit, which obviously doesn't matter because it always crits. And I believe he's back to full health. Yep, he does. Okay. Okay, now I need to think. Mm. Does he have a rapid spinner? He doesn't have a rapid spinner. I can go out into Ice Age because I have the Thick Fat ability, but then he will go for the Toxic. Hmm. But if I go out into Nidokin right now, he will go for a uh, Frost Breath. Um, so I really don't have an option. I mean, I can go into Silent to go for the Power Up Punch. But, he's kind of frail, so... He's gonna go out into Ice Age. I need to set up the rocks, because because of Wall Rain, the uh, the Almost Dying Raichu and the Slurpuff, Slurpuff or something. Jumpluff, that's what it is, sorry. I'm gonna set up the rocks now. Alright, let's see what he's gonna go for. He's gonna go for the Anchor. That's fine, dude, that's fine. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I got my rocks, so I'm gonna switch out. Now the problem is, I can either predict the Toxic or the Frost Breath. But I am going to predict the the Toxic and I'm gonna go out into Nidoken. Hopefully it works out, otherwise it's gonna hurt. Alright, it goes for the Frost Breath instead of the Toxic. Well, that sucks. That's gonna take me out. Oh, well, close to that. Alright, fine, I am going to go for, I don't have Thunderbolt, that's uh, that's bad, I don't know which one is stronger, Earth Power or Sludge Bomb, I think that Sludge Wave is better, Sludge Bomb is 90 base power and Earth Power is also 90 base power, so I'm just, go I'm just gonna go for the Sludge Bomb here, I know it's gonna kill me anyway, so might as well just go for the sludge bomb. Deal some damage before I go down. He goes for the. Fr he misses. He misses. The god is watching over me. That's like payback, dude. That's absolute payback. I'm gonna go for the earth power now, in case he decides to predict. Oh, he's gonna go for the protect just to <clears throat> get a little bit of leftovers recovery. It makes sense to a certain degree. Okay. So, Earth Power is not going to be my next move. I'm going to go back to Sludge Bomb. 
Alright, hopefully I get a cradle max damage or something. I don't know. Alright, so I'm dead. Well, at the very least, I got my rocks up, which is great. Not to mention that um, I lost two Pokemon in the process. He's gonna get more leftovers recovery, and he's most likely going to go for the protect um, after I send out my next Pokemon. Um, if I had brought my Machamp with me, it would have been so much easier. But I am going to go out into Ice Age. No, wait. I'm going to go out into Silent. I'm just gonna go for the power up punch and get that plus one attack going on. Hopefully that helps out in the long run. But it, like I said, he's most likely going to go for the uh, Protect. But whatever the case, he's going to go for the Power Up Punch. Yeah, he's going to go for the Protect. And um, right now he could potentially predict another Power Up Punch and switch out into Jump Bluff. But then again, I'm most likely faster. I have no idea how fast a uh, jump bluff is. I'm gonna double check right now. Yeah, I'm just still gonna go for the power up punch though. I'm not gonna think twice about that. Bam! That's going to take him down, and that's gonna give me the plus one attack, which is absolutely fantastic. At least I get to take down one of his Pokemon's. It would have been quite shameful to get a six to, to get six out again. Once again, I'm not thinking quite straight right now because of the fact that I'm sick and my brains are not properly working. Um, so what was I going to go out into? All oh, right, I was going to check out Jump Love's speed. It's pretty fast though. No, I'm I'm still faster, which is great. Um, as Cavalier, it, its typing was still, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it was still still bug. So Rock Slide hits for normal damage. Or regular damage and he will most likely kill me but I'm going to be needing uh, Greninja for later so I am going to switch into Fantastico I'm gonna go into Fantastico right now to take whatever he's about to throw I me mean, maybe a Mega Horn, Iron Head, maybe a Toxic for that matter he might just go for the sub as well now he's gonna go for the Mega Horn. He's, he misses. He misses. Wow. Thank you. And I am going to go for the Nightshade. Now the the whole thing about me going for the Nightshade and not for the Will O Wisp is because he still has that Heat Run left. And <coughs> to be honest with you, I don't want to give that Heat Run that uh, Fire type boost. So I'm just gonna go for the Nightshade. So there it goes. He switches out into the Heat Run. And like I said before, I'm not willing to go for the Will O Wisp because. Uh, he has the flash fire ability, and that is something that I do not want to risk. I'm just gonna go for another nightshade just to take down the heat rain. I'm not sure at just how much uh, HP that Raichu is at at this point, but he's gonna go for the overheat. That is still not going to kill me, I believe. I'm at full HP though. It's gonna do quite a lot of damage, but still not sufficient. I'm gonna take him down with a nightshade, which is absolutely fantastic. Now I can go. Now I'm free to go for the Will O Wisp. Now, his Raichu is almost dead, um, his Wall Rain and Heat Rain are, are dead, so he has like 3 Pokemon left, which can uh, do quite a lot of damage to my team. So he's gonna bring out his Lurpuff, or for Jump Luff, sorry, um, and he's most likely going to go for a Sleep Powder. That's gonna be the case, then I'm going to switch out into TM87, and... Uh, that's just like something for you guys to figure out if you don't know why, why I, why she actually, because I got this uh, Huntsgrow from Destructive Skitty, why she named the Huntsgrow after the TM87. It is because, like, it's because I think that's something that has to do with the Pokemon itself. So you guys wanna, if you guys wanna know, you might as well go ahead and figure it out yourself. It's something fun to do. Um, he's gonna go for the Stun Spoiler though, and that's perfect. I am going, well, wait a second. So his heat train is out of the way. His Raichu is almost dying. Uh, I think setting up a sub right now would be absolutely perfect. Um, he might go for a U-turn, but I don't think that thing will hurt me for too much damage. And whatever comes in is going to get a sucker punch to the face. So I'm going to go for the sub. I'm going to go for the sub. 
Who's gonna go for the lead C? That's fine, because I still have Roost. I have Roost on this set. So even though I'm gonna be at a very low amount of damage at this point, I will be able to recover back up. And I'm still behind the sub though, so I am not fearing too much at this point. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the Roost now. Because I don't think that he can break my sub with a U-turn. Or whatever attacking move he has, for that matter. So I'm just gonna go for the Roost now. He's gonna go for the... Oh my... Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Anchor. You have like two guys that use Anchor on your team. That's, that's, that's weird. That's weird, though. That's weird, dog. That's weird. But okay, it works out in his favor. Now, I need to switch the hell out. Should have gone for the Brave Bird in the first, the first turn, though. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Fantastico. Because it will absolutely predict the switch and go for a Stun Sport. <clears throat> and the only thing that can take a Stun Sport at this point is Fantastico. Or maybe another Lead Seed. So it's gonna go for the Stun Sport, just like I predicted, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp here. And he's most likely going to go for the Lead Seed again. <coughs> Alright, so the Lead Seed happens. I am fine, because I'm just gonna... Oh my god, I miss. There is so much hacks going on into this game. In this game, sorry. It's fucking retarded, man. It's fucking retarded. He's gonna encore me into that, or he might just predict the switch again. I'm just gonna stay in and on the encore. I'm fine with that. He's going to switch most likely into right. You know, he's gonna go for the encore then. That's cool. I don't care. I just wanna get your burn though. All right, finally it hits. Now after this, I can come out with uh, Mamo Swine, aka Ice Age, go for the Ice Shard and do some heavy damage. Most likely going to take him down in one blow because I believe that Jump Love is grass flying type. Which is fine. And I am just going to allow this guy to die here. I'm not going to switch. I'm just going to spam the Will O Wisp. And there is a little slight chance that he might switch out right now. And if he switches out into a Scavalier or something, that would be just totally perfect. But then, if that happens, I'm, I will definitely get paralyzed because those cool things never happen to me. So he's going to go for another lead seed, which is fine. I'm going to get paralyzed. Which, once again, I don't care about. <coughs> I don't care Dust Club's dying, and my throat is really fucking hurting. God damn it, why me? Alright, so he's back to full health. The burn is gonna do a little bit of damage. And I'm just gonna spam another Will O Wisp. Yep, I'm just gonna do that. I really have no use for Fantastico anymore. And we just hit the 23 minutes mark, which which is like minus 3 minutes, because the first 3 minutes was me talking about nonsense, or doing absolutely nothing. So he's gonna go for the U-turn, which is great though, which is great. He's not gonna kill me. Wow, that's just that's just pathetic. That attack stat of the, on, the, on the jump off, it's just pathetic. Alright. Alright, in comes a Raichu, which is gonna get Stealth Rock's damage, and if I hit the will o -Wisp now, that would be perfect. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, this thing is burned. I think from the burn damage, he's gonna die. Oh, no, wait, he's got leftovers, right? Okay, so that sucks. I'm not sure if uh, the burn will kill him. From no, wait. I am forgetting about so many things right now. The lead seed, of course. That's gonna allow him to live through. But that's fine, because I can still bring out Ice Age and just go for the Ice Shard. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Alright. No, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. The thing is, I can go out into silent as well. But why would I do that? I'm just gonna go out into Ice Age. <clears throat> gonna go for the Ice Shard. And I'm just gonna seal off the deal here. Let's go. Let's go, Raichu. Sit down, bro. There's not... Your time to shine has already come to an end. And now I think he's gonna bring out a Scavalier. Because that would make sense. Yeah, in comes Scavalier. 
I might just go for an earthquake, but I am not sure just how important. No, wait, this this guy is way too important. I'm not gonna let him die. I rather have Silent die, I think. Yeah, wait a second. How fast is that buffalo thing? I don't know. I think it's pretty fast. Come on. The buffalo. Buffalant. That's what it is. It's actually damn slow. Holy crap. But it's got a lot of HP though. Alright, so this is the decisive moment. If I misplay right now, I'm dead. And I think Scavalier gets access to Sucker Punch. Um, right. So he's got Jump Love left, the Scavalier, and the Buffalo. Buffalant. I'm gonna switch out into Silence. Quite frankly, like I said, I need Ice Age. I need Ice Age really badly. He's gonna go for the Mega Horn, I think. In case I switch out. He's gonna go for the Iron Head, though. That's not bad. That's not bad, though. I am going to go for... Wait a second. Dark does... Wait. Steel does not resist dark. Or was it ghost? I'm not sure, though. Let me double check that. Uh, steel types. Take one from dark types. Okay. That means that I can go for a Night Slash. Hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Night Slash now. Hopefully I get a crit or something. <laughs> that would be perfect. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> it's gonna hit me with a Mega Horn. That's gonna take me down, that's fine though. Alright. He... In comes Mamo Swine. I don't think that I will kill him from this range. But hey, whatever goes, though. I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake. <laughs> Come on, man. Get me a crit or something. Alright, so that's sufficient to take him down. That is perfect. Now, he only has that Bofalon and the Slurpuff of the Jump Bluff. God damn it, why do I always say the wrong name? It makes no sense. Hmm... I want to know what he's going to do next, though. Wait a second. He... No. My opponent has... Um, okay, if I stay in and I go for an Earthquake, I will be dealing damage. I can come in with Honchkrow, go for the Sucker Punch. He might just switch out and then go for the Anchor. And then I'm lost. But then if I switch out now, I will lose Honchkrow to whatever he's going to use. And then I'll only have one Pokemon left. Meaning that my only choice right now is to attack this Buffalant with Ice Age and uh, see where it takes me. I'm gonna hit him with an Earthquake, which is the most powerful attack that I have. All right, let's go, Earthquake. Let's go, Mamo Swan. You can do it. You're bigger than him or her. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my god. Head charge. Woo! I died badly, and that animation is so freaking badass. He's gonna die to recoil. He's gonna die to recoil! Oh my god, he's gonna die to recoil. It's down to one Pokemon. It's down to literally one Pokemon. Alright. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Once again, <clears throat> I'm almost dying here. Uh, I got... Okay, he's got Stun Sport, U-Turn, Lead Seed... Um, and his last move is Anchor, isn't it? An okay, so Anchor, Lead Seed, U-Turn, and Stun Spore. Okay, so he only has one attacking move. Me going for the Roost right now will absolutely be the best choice because I will always keep my full HP. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for the Roost. I'm going to go for the Roost. Screw this. I could have gone for the Brave Bird to finish it off, but... I want to win this battle. I just don't want to like have a double down right now. I'm gonna go for the sweet roost. And he's gonna go for possibly the stun spore. No, he might just lock me down on roost with uh, the uh, encore. 
which I'm fine with. He cannot kill me. Literally, he cannot kill me right now. He can't. Oh, he can't, he can't paralyze me either. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. So the safety goggle really worked out. Alright, so I'm locked into Roost, which is fine. That was exactly what I was planning for. Um, I'm gonna get back to full HP. At some point, I will be able to use different move. Meaning that, at that point, I will go for a Brave Bird. And that is going to be sufficient to basically one-hit KO this thing. Alright, let's go. Let's go. You're still losing damage. You're still losing HP, though, from the burn. Which is cool. I'm just gonna see if he tweeted me. I'm not sure if it did. I don't think it did. Alright, so it's gonna hit me with a U-turn. Doesn't do that much damage. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm still locked onto Ruse, really. There is not much to say at this point. And really, I don't want to say that much because my throat is hurting. Hope you guys have a little bit respect for for that. I, I quite frankly would like to be completely healthy when I do this kind of uh, this kind of videos. But I am not. Alright, so I can still only use Roost, which is fine. It's gonna go for the stun sport. Doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god, safety goggles, man. I never thought it would be useful, especially on this guy. That's like weird. That's, that's weird in a way, because I really I had no other item to put on this guy, and just that item that I had left, it just so happens to be useful on this on the hunch crow. It's crazy. All right, so it's burn. All right, encore is gonna end. Perfect. I can go for a brave bird right now. I'm not sure if he can lock me down onto Roost again. He cannot do that, can he? That would be just fucking weird. Really? He can just... Wow, that's that's fucking bullshit, man. That's bullshit. Oh, well, at some point I will have to struggle, though. And uh, that, I don't think he can lock me down onto struggle, can he? I, I'm, I'm not sure if he can. This is one of those weird ass <laughs> freaking Wi Fi battles where you're like, what is going to happen next? I have no idea. I know as much as you guys know. I should have gone for the Brave Bird on the very first turn. Alright, so he forfeited the game. It was going nowhere. Um, I guess that I win the game. Um, at the end, I would have won anyway. So, yeah. Thank you very much uh, for the battle there, Sucker for Jessica. If you guys are inter interested in his channel, the link will be down in the description. He's a really cool guy. So thank you for listening to this sick dude named Castor Perfect, and uh, thank you very thank 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 you very much for watching. That's basically it. Remember, 40 likes for this video, just because I'm sick. Otherwise, I would have asked you guys to get it to 50. But 40 likes for this video, and I'll try to get, give you guys more live commentated battles. But when that happens, I will be completely fine. I will not be doing live narrations like this. So that's gonna be it for this time, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.